it going guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. We we played actively, we, we played well today, we, we played really, really well. A tough place to go, Turf Moor, and we did excellently, and we deserved the three points, thoroughly deserved the three points. But the, the shocking performances, week in, week out, this season... Of referees is uh, it's it's just absolutely disgusting. It's daylight robbery, daylight robbery, and I'm just I'm absolutely appalled. These are senior referees who most of them have have had years of training to become a Premier League referee. They are at the top division of English football, and they should be setting the standard for the rest of the leagues throughout the country. And yet they're making horrible decisions like this. They're costing teams like us points. And yes, we got a point today. We got a point today. But in the circumstances, we've only got two games left now. Crystal Palace and Chelsea. That win that we deserve to get, and we should have got, if it wasn't for the referees. If, if we got that win, it would have taken us a point behind Man United and Leicester. It would have been a massive win. As I, and as I keep saying, we deserve, we deserve the three points. The goal was absolutely outstanding from Jimenez. It really was. And we played, especially in the second half. We had a couple of half chances in the first half. But in the second half, we completely took control. Um, Burnley had a couple of chances. They had, they had a, a couple of spells in the second half, especially... But we controlled the game. We had m the most of possession and the chances we had. I'm not saying, like, after we scored the chances, we had a couple of chances that we should have put them away. I mean, obviously we should have, because then we would have won the game outright. But that's that's not our fault. That's not our fault. It's, it's clearly the referee's fault. The official's fault today. It's, it's ridiculous. And on VAR... We, we've had no luck throughout the season with VAR. We really haven't. And it could have been our saving grace today. They could have actually had some sense, the referees. But no. Doherty goes up, to it, goes up for a challenge with Chris Wood, who's, who just moments earlier had missed a sitter. He, he goes up for a challenge, and Chris Wood, he, go, he goes for the overhead kick. And Doherty goes like that. And, you know, you may think it's handball. And it looks like handball. But the way these referees interpret it, just because it hits the arm, just because it hits the arm, doesn't mean it's a penalty. Like, these are... <laughs> he's coming up against... <laughs> he's coming up against studs here. And he could get... <laughs> for all he knows, he could get whacked in the face. He could get whacked in the face if he didn't protect himself. And how... Uh, how? Tell me. I, like, I would love to know. I would love to know from these senior referees. How else would Matt Doherty protect himself from getting injured in this situation? And he has no, no real time to protect himself. And he goes up, trying to clear, clear the ball. And, he, he, you know, it's, it's a split-second decision. And it's, it, it's a split-second judgment how he's going to protect himself while also trying to clear it away from danger. And these referees, they only see... They only have a one-dimensional... They only have a one-dimensional di di interpretation on on decisions. They have... And it's... Officials... Simple as that. So officials have cost us two points today. And we fully, thoroughly deserved that win. That win would have taken us up to 58 points, the highest points total we 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 would, we would have had in, in the Premier League era. But we move on to 56 points now, three points behind Man United and Leicester. And I'd say, unless we win the Europa League, we can't get Champions League now. And well, we've still got two games to go. We've still got two games to go. So there is. Still a little bit of hope. But Man United, I mean, they were they were leading 2-1 against Southampton until the very, very last kick of the game. 
and they, and Southampton got a draw. I don't I don't think that 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 they will they will slip up again. Really, the the form that they've been in. And you know we've had a good season. We've had a good season. Sixth in the league with Europa League on top as well. I think the majority of Wolves fans would have definitely taken that. I mean we would we would have taken taken mid table right away at the start of the season. But we had an incredible season. But I mean, just just the the way we have come out of lockdown, it's it's been it's been staggering and. The last few games, the last few games have have killed us a little bit, and our Champions League ambitions have gone up in smoke. But hopefully, we can qualify for the for the Europa League. Always, always trying to be ambitious. But officials, the bottom line is officials need to be drastically improved for next season. And they need to massively get VAR training, the officials there, Mike Riley and everybody involved. They need to get a step up in class. They need to they they, they need to grow a pair and actually look, look at the different perspectives rather than just one. Because clearly we've been massively robbed today. We've been robbed. We played brilliantly in difficult circumstances because as I say... Turf Moor, it's always perennially been a, diff- a, di- a difficult ground to go to. And uh, I can't believe what's just happened. I, uh, I really can't believe what's just happened. We've got Crystal Palace next. Y- you gotta say you got to say that's three points. That's got to be three points. Crystal Palace are on a torrid run of form, and anyone that loses a Villa, really, y- you can tell that they're really not, not doing well at the moment. Any, uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, we've got, to, we've got to get three points. At home to Crystal Palace on Monday. There, there's, it has to be three points, really. And Chelsea, I mean... I mean, we, we've, got to, we've got to do our best, because Chelsea, you know, they had a bit of a slip-up against Sheffield United, but they came back strong with an with a important result for them against Norwich. So it's, it's going to be interesting the last couple of games of the season, but... I can't. I still. I'm. I'm in utter shock. Utter shock. The standard of refereeing needs to be improved. We're we're playing in the top division in England, the top division in England. And yet this is happening. This is happening with VAR as well. The refereeing decisions should have been improved. You would have thought, but no, but no. Well, we've got to only hope. For, for better things to come, but a point I feel Burnley utterly didn't deserve, apart from a couple of spells they had in the game, they didn't really p- perform well at all, and we we deserved the three points, but instead we got one because yeah, um, a couple of referees decide to have a day off. Anyway, um, get let, let me. I'd love to know your thoughts of of the game and those those referee decisions in the comment section below. And I'll see you on Monday with a reflection of the game against Crystal Palace. Until then, goodbye guys!